good morning world from Kauai. I'm going to talk to you about round trip tickets versus one way. Now, if you're planning a trip around the world, don't bite off more than you can chew. You know why? Because this trip is going to change your life. So how are you going to know if you plan uh, Australia to the U.S. to the U.S. to Europe? I mean, you're not going to know how long you really want to spend in each place. I mean, unless your life is highly regimented, which I have chosen not to have as a life. I like my freedom. Um, things are going to happen to you that you can't even predict. My first three trips were... Um, well, the first two trips, I knew there was a start and end date, which I don't recommend because things happen that make you want to stay longer. So my first trip was to uh, Nepal, India, and Bali. I would have loved to stay another month in Bali, but I had to come back and work. So if you have a start and end date, you might want to do it. I've never bought a round the world ticket, and they cost a lot of money, and if... You want to make a change? Big dollars. So, I say no. Um, and then the other thing is um, one-way tickets. If And that's what I've been doing for eight years. When you do one-way tickets, you can uh, open up your life so that you get the one-way ticket when it's cheaper. So if you give yourself like a span of two or three weeks maybe even a month, you can search for the cheapest time to go on your one-way ticket. It doesn't always cost more. So listen to this. The one-way tickets, I've been around the world twice buying one-way tickets along the way with no itinerary two times. The first time I spent almost $3,000 on one-way tickets and the second time I got smarter and spent less than 2000 and went wherever I wanted to go, which was starting in California, going to Thailand, then to India, going overland to Nepal, going back to India, leaving from India, going to uh, the Middle East just for a transit. I didn't actually leave the airport. And then on to Europe, going through Ireland, New York, and back to California less than two thousand dollars one-way tickets so the thing is that you're not going to think of before you've ever taken a round the world trip is how it's going to change you so you want to leave some room for that change and not oh is this not picking up okay yes it is and not get so uh regimented that you take all the fun and spontaneity out of it now as i said if you have a start and end date and you have to do it that way, okay, do it that way. But um, I've never done it. I've never done the round the world ticket. I've always done uh, one ways. And every once in a while I'll do a round the trip when I know I want to come back to a place. <laughs> like I live in Hawaii now and I definitely want to come back here. So I got a uh, round trip ticket to Nepal leaving next week. Yay! So, hey, if you have any questions, uh, comment below, like, share, and uh, happy to answer your questions. Sometimes people write me and expect a long personal message. I can't do that, um, especially right before I leave the country to go to another country. Um, but if it is a question that would be a benefit to a lot of people, hey, go ahead and ask it because a lot of people want to travel around the world so aloha blessings to you thanks for watching and subscribing really appreciate your uh tuning in and stay tuned for nepal coming up soon internet isn't quite as uh spunky there as the usa but um i will be posting things from there so now you know how i feel one way is the way to go